हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल अनफॉग विद डॉक्टर अतहर परवीन इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द स्पेसिफिक सिलेबस बेस्ड ऑन मैथ्स एंड साइंस फॉर कर्नाटका टीईटी एंड आल्सो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द रेफरेंस बुक रिलेटेड टू कर्नाटका टीईटी मैथ्स एंड साइंस ओके बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द डिस्कशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब्ड टिल नाउ एंड आल्सो प्लीज मेक श्योर दट यू शेयर अवर वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू टीचर रिक्रूटमेंट एग्जाम्स लाइक एच एस टी आर जी पी एस टी आर एंड कर्नाटका टीईटी अमॉन्ग अदर एस्परेंट्स ओके एंड ऑल्सो मेक श्योर दट यू रियाक्ट टू मई वीडियोज वेदर यू लाइक इट यू हिट द लाइक बटन इफ यू डोंट लाइक इट यू हिट द अनलाइक बटन बट प्लीज रियाक्ट और एल्स आई विल नॉट अंडरस्टैंड वेदर मई वीडियोज आर हेल्पिंग यू ऑल और नो ओके एनी वे ई आलवेज मेक वीडियोज ऑन द डिमांड ऑफ एस्परेंट्स ओनली ईवन दिस सेशन ऑलसो ई एम मेकिंग ओनली बिकॉज मेनी एस्परेंट्स आर आस्किंग मे रिगार्डिंग द कर्नाटका टीईटी सिलेबस एस्पेशली रिलेटेड टू मैथ्स एंड सैंस एंड दे आर आलो आस्किंग मी टू सजेस्ट द रेफरेंस बुक्स ओके सो ई वॉन्ट your reaction in terms of a like unlike button or you can also comment below this video even if you want a future videos anything query you are having related to any teacher recruitment exam you can please write down in the comment section then i will make sure that i address your queries okay if it is needed i will also make video based on your query so let us start this session of a syllabus based on maths and science for karnataka tet now this syllabus actually i had downloaded from uh, uh, karnataka tet 2023 website i am sure that uh, the syllabus is not going to change this year also so specifically i am giving you the chapter names and all clarity regarding the syllabus both for uh, paper 1 and paper 2 okay so if you want to know what is the difference between paper 1 and paper 2 then you will have to watch uh, previous session just before this video i have uh, posted that session if you want i will give the link in the description okay now let us start with the uh, uh, paper 1 mathematics syllabus so what are the chapters first is a uh, number system then we have fractions and decimals then square roots are there in that cube and cube roots are there then we have data handling that is measures of central tendency and graphical representation it will come under statistics only then ratio and proportion is there then uh, comparing quantities means uh, percentage profit and loss uh, discount uh, and mathematics in daily life usually uh, we can put these things in a uh, commercial mathematics then we have arithmetic progression algebraic expression and identities linear equation in one variable and two variable and a pair of linear equations in two variables then we have exponents and powers factors and factorization then everything related to polynomials is there this includes a division of polynomials factor theorem remainder theorem hcf lcm all that is there in this chapter then uh, basic uh, geometry is there that is introduction to euclid geometry then uh, more geometry like uh, lines and angles triangles quadrilaterals circles visualizing solid shapes mensuration and probability okay so these many chapters are there for paper 1 now let's see paper 2 syllabus for mathematics okay now you can see that uh, the syllabus is uh, similar only but uh, few things are different uh, let us see the syllabus here uh, first chapter is number system only here they have included uh, uh, euclid's division lemma fundamental theorem of arithmetic uh, and uh, prime factorization hcf and lcm they have included then uh, we have fractions and decimals square roots squares cube cube roots data handling ratio and proportion comparing quantities arithmetic progression algebraic expression and identities linear equations exponents and powers 
factors and factorization polynomials quadratic equations is there so quadratic equations was not given in paper 1 okay so this is a extra added for paper 2 and uh, here also these things are extra added for paper 2 from here this till here okay then uh, trigonometry and applications of trigonometry this is also added in paper 2 paper 1 was not having this then introduction to euclid's geometry lines and angles coordinate geometry triangles quadrilaterals circles visualizing solid shapes mensuration statistics and probability so here statistics part also was not there in uh, paper 1 so specifically they have added this also so this is our syllabus for karnataka tet mathematics both i have told paper 1 and paper 2 we can see that uh, much difference is not there in the syllabus but uh, the difference occurs in the question paper because of difficulty level paper 1 is uh, very much easy when compared to paper 2 okay this is little bit uh, tough when compared to paper 1 okay but this also becomes very easy when you compare it with the uh, uh, hstr okay you can say that this is little bit uh, uh, similar to gpstr level but because in gpstr you have descriptive question and answers we cannot compare karnataka tet to gpstr also so karnataka tet paper 2 becomes a very unique examination because our paper 2 is giving us the eligibility criteria especially for gpstr exam okay so that's the reason why tet paper 2 becomes very 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 important because you need to qualify paper 2 to be eligible for writing the gpstr exam and uh, you must be knowing that the gpstr exam is uh, easy when compared to hstr and also it is conducted frequently hstr was not conducted uh, uh, since 2015 right but GPSTR was conducted in 2019, then it was conducted in 2022 and now also we are expecting, this year also we are expecting GPSTR exam. Okay, that's the reason why I am always telling aspirants that if you have not cleared TET, please make sure that you write this exam this time and qualify it so that you become eligible for GPSTR. Okay, so I hope that you are understanding the importance of TET here. Now let's talk about the reference books. They have given all this in the uh, website of Karnataka TET 2023 last time. Okay. Now books uh, they are giving for reference uh, are Karnataka State Board uh, Mathematics textbooks up to 10th standard. Then CBSE textbooks and NCRT exemplars up to 10th standard. Then uh, Mathematics by R.D. Sharma from 6th standard to 10th standard. Then secondary school mathematics for class 6th to 10th standard by R.S. Agarwal. Then uh, concise mathematics they are telling from 6th to 10th standard by Selina Publishers. This is ICSC textbook list. Then mathematics for class 8th, 9th and 10th by New Age International Private Limited Publishers. Golden. This is one uh, list of books. Then for quantitative aptitude. Dr. R.S. Agarwal because some questions belong to quantitative aptitude from mathematics, right? Then for method of teaching mathematics, S.K. Mangal and pedagogy of mathematics, they are giving NCRT book list. Importance of learning mathematics at elementary stage, this is another book. Then diploma in elementary education, uh, DL led material, this is, uh, this is from uh, NIOS. Then teaching of mathematics by Dr. Anis James. Okay. So these are the reference books directly given by government of Karnataka. Okay. It is up to you which book you want to follow. See ICSC books though you will not get uh, uh, online. Okay. But NCRT books uh, you will get easily. So this you will get freely in the website okay if you want i will give you the website again in the telegram channel so if you have not joined the telegram channel please do join the telegram channel right now you will get the link in the description below this video and also through the telegram channel you can talk to me personally through a telegram group 
if you are in the telegram channel you can directly write into the telegram group also okay so these were the list of reference books for mathematics okay they have included everything here now talking about the uh, syllabus for uh, evs and science see evs means environmental science in paper 1 in place of science they are giving this evs actually what the science include it includes physics chemistry and biology right so that the three together they will put it in evs for paper 1 and in paper 2 specifically they are giving syllabus for physics chemistry and biology under science okay see what is the first chapter amazing energy this includes uh, work uh, energy uh, all types of energy are there including concept of conservation of energy then motion and measurement of distances force and pressure and we have light then we have stars and solar system then we have electricity okay see syllabus they are giving like this but the difficulty level as i already told you will be different for paper one and paper two okay then we have a syllabus for chemistry and it is called as a uh, evs only for paper one because in evs only they will include a physics chemistry and biology also okay so for paper one evs means together physics chemistry and biology and for paper two we call it as science okay now coming to this part community and family this comes under evs then uh, Elements, compounds and mixtures comes under chemistry. So, this comes uh, to paper 2. This becomes for paper 1. Okay. Then acids, bases and salt, chemistry, natural and artificial fibers, metals and non-metals. All these are belonging to chemistry. Okay. Now, here amazing energy, this will belong to paper 1. Of course, you can put it in the paper 2 category also. Okay. Anyway, it is very simple and easy only. Nothing to worry about this. Uh, then we have coal, coal tar, coal gas, all this also is there. It will also come under both EVS and chemistry. Okay. Now let us see for biology. Now this is a EVS for paper 1 and this comes under science for paper 2. Living world is there, cytology, life processes, ecology, microorganisms, crops, natural resources. Okay. This was all the... Uh, syllabus for EVS paper 1 and science paper 2. Now these are the list of uh, reference books uh, given by the government of Karnataka only. So what are the books uh, for paper 1 they are telling 5th standard EVS textbook uh, English medium plus Kannada medium they are telling means aspirants who are uh, from English medium can see English medium textbook and aspirants who are from Kannada medium can go through the Kannada medium textbook. Okay. Uh, because uh, they have given this uh, in 2023, they are writing this edition also. Okay. Then 6th uh, standard books, 7th standard, 8th standard books. Okay. From NCRT they are telling. Then for pedagogy of science also they are giving NCRT part 1 and part 2 name. Okay. Now coming, uh, now this was for paper 1. Now coming to paper 2. 7th standard science KTBS textbook, 8th standard NCRT, 9th standard NCRT, 10th standard NCRT, concise physics, Selena publications means this is ICSC. Okay. Then pedagogy of science NCRT. So this is the uh, reference book list given by government of Karnataka in the website. Now I want to address one more uh, query which aspirants are uh, asking me many many times repeatedly that madam is your course enough to clear Karnataka TET. See I want to tell you clearly again that whatever the portion we have discussed in this session you know, the syllabus for maths and science all this portion is covered in our Karnataka TET paper 2 course. In fact, paper 1 chapters also you will find and the details from paper 1 syllabus also you will find in this course only. Okay. This course consists of 35 plus 12 paid classes. Means 35 are regular paid classes and there are 12 revision classes. 
So total you have a uh, 47 paid classes and you will be given the notes for those 35 regular paid classes and uh, practice worksheets are given which are specifically made for Karnataka TED and uh, along with all this you have some free classes also. So together everything comprises of the full syllabus for uh, paper 2 and it will also include the syllabus of paper 1. For free classes, we are not giving notes only with the intention that we want aspirants to watch the classes, understand the concepts and make their own notes for free classes. Then uh, we have given uh, 12 revision classes also in this uh, course and we have made very useful practice worksheets especially for Karnataka TET, Maths and Science. Okay, along with all this, uh, we will give you revision classes after notification. Okay, more revision classes will be given by keeping in mind the Karnataka TET 2024 examination. So, all this together will surely be enough for you to qualify Karnataka TET. Okay, if you really follow our course and promptly watch all our classes and go through the notes and practice nicely from the worksheets we are giving, I am sure that you can score 120 plus in Karnataka TET 2024. Only thing is you should promise me that you will follow everything which we have given in the course. Okay, you should watch all the classes, paid classes and free classes. You should watch the revision classes. Not only the revision classes which we are giving now, the uh, next revision classes which we will give after notification that also and you should practice from the worksheets we have provided okay then i can promise you that you will surely get more than 120 you can get 130 plus also but i am not giving you so much uh, high uh, target i am telling that you can score 120 plus okay so if you are interested you can join our course and uh, if you want to know Anything more related to our course, you can mail me at atahar tethstr courses at the rate gmail.com or you can write a message in WhatsApp in this number 9110558369. Okay, friends, so I hope that I have cleared many of your doubts in this session. If you have more doubts, please feel free to write in the comment section. I will make sure that your doubt is cleared. Either I will answer you in the comment section. If your query is simple or if it is little bit complicated or if I feel that it is very important, I will make another video and uh, try to clear your doubt. Okay and uh, I hope that you know the date of Karnataka TET 2024. The date has come. It is uh, June 30th, 2024. And in July, uh, you will have CTET also. So, as parents who are interested uh, in writing Karnataka TET and CTET this time, you all can take this course because uh, the Karnataka TET paper 2 course is also made for CTET aspirants because the syllabus is same and uh, the style of the exam is also same. So that's why uh, the Karnataka TET paper 2 course which we have made is made by keeping in mind that this will be useful for CTET aspirants also. Okay then. Please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you. All the best. Bye.